Hi dears, welcome to my channel. Today I am here with class 9. Lesson 9, Gravitation. Okay, what was the last class for the class 9? It was 8th lesson, right? It was what more force and the laws of motion. Do you remember? There I have asked you 3 questions. It's the time to answer these questions. The first question goes right like this. According to third law of motion, action and reaction acts on same body or different body is the question. And the answer is it is acting on different bodies. Different bodies but in opposite direction but same magnitude. Okay ma? Different bodies in opposite direction ma? But in same magnitude like that. Okay. Second one. Inertia of the object tends to cause the object to dash. Inertia, what is the inertia doing? It is tending the object to resist to change from its motion or rest. If the object is in rest or if the object is in motion, it is resistant, resisting the object to change from it. Okay, ma? Third question is, a rocket works on the principle of dash. Rocket works on the principle of conservation of momentum. Okay, ma? Now we are moving for ninth lesson that is gravitation. Is there, is there any relation between force and laws of motion and gravitation? Yes, of course. Because gravitation is also a kind of force. Okay. When you are knowing something about when you are hearing the word gravitation, some what is coming to you? Something related to earth, isn't it? It is pulling something, isn't it? Uh, so you may have think about the uh, think about the Newton's apple. Do you heard the story? When, what is the story, ma? When Newton was sitting on uh, under the apple tree, an apple fall on his head. If an apple is falling on our head, what will we do? We will see the apple tree and we will eat the apple. Thank you. Like that, we will be feeling. If it is uh, hitting much more heavier, we will curse the. We will be shouting to the apple tree and we will eat the apple, isn't it? But what did the Newton do? Newton started thinking, why the apple fall down? Or why can't it go up? So something, he was, he started to think, which results in universal law of gravitation. This is a story going on here. Okay, gravitation, what is gravitation? How the gravitation works? And what are the laws? in it and about it we are going to learn. Shall we start the class? Okay. Gravitation. What is gravitation Kana? All objects on the earth is pulled towards the earth. We will say it as gravitation. Okay. It is a pulling force. In other words we can say it is an attractive force. Have you seen? Have you heard about the repelling force of gravitation? No. Always it will be attracting, attracting, attracting. Who is attracting over here? Earth is attracting, earth is pulling things down. So because of the gravitation we are able to be in the earth. By uh, We can touch, we will be standing. Otherwise we will be flying in. Uh, yeah, we will be start flying in vacuum. We will be flying because of zero gravity over there. Okay ma? So who have discovered the gravitation? I told you Sir Isaac Newton discovered this gravitation. Before that also uh, Indian scientist Bhaskaracharya discovered this gravitation. He used to say that every object is attracting towards earth because of some force. Like that he used to say. Bhaskaracharya have written also. But what the thing is he have not mentioned he have not gone in detail about the gravitation. The detailed explanation was given by Sir Isaac Newton. That's why gravitation is always related to Atma. To whom? To Sir Isaac Newton. Okay. Now we are having a question. Only earth is having this gravitational force or is any two objects having the gravitational attraction? Of course, yes. Gravitation force is exerted by two objects also. So it is applicable in universal level. So, Sir Isaac Newton have, have found out the universal law of gravitation. Why universal? Because it is applicable in all in the universe itself. That is uniform, universal law of gravitation. Okay. What he have said in that? All objects attract each other. 
exerts a force on the other object. If one object is there and the other object is here, two, um, each object exerts an attractive force on the one another or each other with this formula. That is, force is directly proportional. This attractive force is directly proportional to the masses of the object and is inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. If I am representing a body of mass m1 and there is another object with mass m2, the attractive force can be can be in this way. m1 attracts m2. m2 attracts m1. So, the gravitational force f is proportional toward the product of their masses. That is m1 into m2. Okay. Then, second one. F is proportional to the 1 by d2. That is, F is inversely proportional to the square of distance. And if I am considering the distance between these two as d, it will be F proportional to 1 by d square. So, altogether, how can I write? F is proportional to m1, m2 by d square. Okay, so how can I remove this proportionality? Proportionality can be removed by adding a constant. So, F is equal to G. What is G? G is universal gravitational constant. G, M1, M2 divided by D square. Okay, ma? F is equal to G, M1, M2 divided by D square. Okay, so what do you understand by that? Every object attracts another object. Okay. The gravity is acting there also. So what is the SI unit of F? Kana? Always force is having only one SI unit. What is that? Newton. What is the SI unit of F? F is Newton. Okay. Now I have to find G. The value of G. So how can I find the G? G is equal to what? G is equal to I am taking all the things in the other side. So, how it will be? The things in negative denominator will go to numerator and the things in numerator will go to denominator. It's a rule. So, F into D square divided by M1, M2. Isn't it? Now, we have to find the SI unit of G. How can it be found out? We have to apply the SI unit for all the other things. We know F. What is F? SI unit is Newton. What is the, uh, what is D? D is the distance. So, distance will be meter and is square, so meter square. Divided by, this is in kilograms, so kilogram square. This is what? This is the SI unit of G. G SI unit is Newton meter square by kilogram square. Why should I say all these? It will be coming for you. What is the value, uh, what is the SI unit of G? If they are asking, you should know how it is coming. You need not study anything by heart. Understand and learn. The things will be in your mind always. Okay? We will be the helping for you. Okay, ma? So, G, Newton meter square by kilogram square is the SI unit of it. And the value of G, it is again important thing. Value of G, they have calculated as 6.67 in Newton raised to minus 11 Newton meter square by kilogram square or we can write Newton meter square kilogram raised to minus 2. That also will do good. Okay ma? This is the value of G. We understood about the value of G. Okay now is the gravitational force applicable in many cases? Yes. We are binded to earth as I told you initially. By what? By gravitation. The more the planets are revolving round towards they are revolving around around the sun due to what ma due to gravitational force only the moon is revolving around the earth due to gravitation and not only that the tides high tide low tide due to the attraction of towards the moon so high tide low tide all these are happening because of the attractive or gravitational pull by the moon all these are due to what ma Gravitational force of attraction. Okay. These are the application levels on it. Okay. So, again the things are clear. Now, I am having another doubt. 
what the thing is the apple when detached from the tree is coming to ground it because the earth is pulling the apple but now we learned what two masses will pull each other right so the apple may have pulled earth right why the earth is not moving to apple <laughs> it's a general question right ha huh. because the apple is always coming down so or we are coming down when we are falling we will not get any uh, any fracture and all if the earth is coming towards us right if we are falling also so why it is not happening why it is not happening the answer is for that we should know the acceleration due to gravity huh? consider earth this is the earth having mass capital f and this is our apple smaller okay earth is pulling with a force and the apple is pulling the earth also with a force we are not small we are also pulling we will pull isn't it fg fg why fg i have written because acceleration due to gravity is coming because this is the acceleration not the simple acceleration but due to gravity the pulling is happening that's why fg i have written okay normally we know second law we know what is second law newton second law f is equal to ma isn't it here fg due to gravity it is equal to e, mg i have changed g instead of a okay so in the case of earth mass no g is equal to f so mass is equal to m is equal to what m is equal to f by g isn't it the mass of earth is comparable with the apple no mass of the earth is so big compared to the small mass of apple right so the mass is extremely big for the earth so what will be g extremely small because the acceleration is negligibly small for the earth compared to apple but in the case of apple the mass of the apple is very small so the acceleration pull will be more that's why apple is moving but our earth is not moving but we can say gravitational pull is there by the sun so the more earth is revolving around the sun only and the sun is not revolving around you sorry sun is not revolving around the earth earth is revolving around the sun so what is having that much mass it will be constant and the other will be moving towards it okay understood okay that's it now now we should understand one thing that is if you are doing an experiment if one of your friend is having a metal ball and if you are having a rubber ball if i am saying 3 2 1 i am not there with you but still imagine i am there with you and i am saying 3 2 1 by the time both of you are putting the balls down so whose ball will reach first your friend will say i am having metal ball my ball will reach first you will say no no rubber is better than metal my ball will reach first but the answer is both the four balls are reaching together at the same time independent of the mass of the things how is it happen that i am explaining now now we are going to see the free falling objects two balls different masses but reaches the ground equally or at the same time how is a question as we know in all these cases the there is only one pull who is pulling gravitational pull by the earth is acting over the earth. so free fall is happening in work only at the surface of the earth where the gravitational pull is there uh, some questions will be asked like this free fall can be seen in what is it, it can be it be seen in air or in vacuum or in surface of earth like that they will ask questions and the answer is what ma in surface of earth why because there should be a gravitational pull only in that case the free fall is happening now we are going to see the force of gravity fg or uh, yeah fg equal to what ma mass smaller mass into g a is actually 
acceleration but due to gravity i am changing the a as g okay na then f when earth is pulling down the things it will be is equal to we know the universal law of gravitation isn't it g capital m small m by d square okay in some book it is given as r square but whatever it is it is okay d square is also okay because the distance between the earth and the object it is the d okay so what we am doing i am making both equal because f in both the cases are same right so mg mass of the smaller object and g gravitational pull is equal to what mass g capital m what is capital m mass of the earth and small m divided by d square this is equal to that is there anything common yes m is common m is come down so what you understood small g that is g acceleration due to gravity is equal to capital g into capital m divided by d square what you are understanding from this i think ma'am this is got that's why they we are getting answer it's not the answer actually what we are understanding it is acceleration due to gravity is independent on the body which is falling down even though the body is hollow or even though the body is heavy even though the body is of different shape or size or weight or whatever it is it is independent of the mass of the body that's why for metal ball as well as for the rubber ball acceleration due to gravity is the same and both of them reaches at the same time did you get it i think it's clear for you okay that's why it's very important the important discovery right so acceleration due to gravity is independent of the weight of the objects which is falling down this is the this is about the gravity now whatever the object is if i am putting it up it will be coming down yes or no it will be coming down it will be coming down so if even though even though the matter is moving up by which force it is moving how it is moving because i am applying force on it pulling pushing force i'm pushing it up when it reaches the top what happens when it is reaching the top the force will be zero the velocity will be zero the velocity will be zero and there will be only one force pulling the things back what is that gravitational pull it will be uh, pulling the things back down so i am asking you when the object is moving up what will be the acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity don't like it i want my things to be back so i don't like you it will be negative g will be what negative so in kinematics there are three things which we have learned three equations you know isn't it v is equal to u plus at s is equal to ut plus half at square and v square is equal to u square plus 2as in a places we are applying g but for the things which are moving up there will be change in the kinematic equation shall we go what are the things which we know in kinematics v is equal to u plus at in all here and for gravitation a will be changed to what g u plus at s is equal to what ma ut plus half at square changes to gt square and v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s is it right v square is equal to u square plus 2a s that is 2g s okay these are the three things which you know but when the object is moving up g will be what ma gravitation is not acting so g will be g is changing to negative g so the change will be happening over here isn't it all the plus sign will become minus minus and this is the most difficult part of us while you are facing a problem in physics you will not be thinking ah object gravity this is the equation but if the object is moving up g will be minus g so the where the things will be changing v is equal to u minus g 
dt s is equal to ut minus half gt square and v square is equal to u square minus 2gs when the object is falling down what will be the gravity gravity will be positive because it is moving according to my decision gravity is this is not my decision karna gravity is decision so the g will be positive g when the object is coming down falling down freely falling body so it will be v is equal to u plus gt s is equal to ut plus half gt square and v square is equal to u, u square plus 2gs understood this is the important part which you should know then only the problem section will be not a problem for you okay now an interesting concept we are seeing that is mass and weight okay. what is mass mass is the amount of matter present in our body is the mass amount of matter present a mass is the amount of matter present in that okay mass but what is weight weight is different from the mass weight is the amount of mass into the gravitational pull ha weight is equal to w is equal to what ma mg along with the mass gravitational pull is also there that is weight and the ma m is mass is what the amount of matter present inside us this is the difference between mass and the weight okay but when we are seeing our weight we will say um, when the weighing machine is there we will see and check our weight right we are not checking our mass why even though i want to check my mass i am not able to check my mass why all the time the earth is pulling me down so we i can't avoid what i can't avoid the gravitational pull so machine is not massing machine this is weighing machine did you get ma so weighing machine should give me the weight okay so let me see the difference between mass and weight is mass a vector or a scalar quantity mass is a scalar quantity what is the unit of mass kilogram in uh, in the case of weight what is the weight is it a vector or a scalar quantity it's a vector quantity because it's having direction also what is the direction towards the earth towards the earth so what is the unit of weight m into g newton the unit of force will come for the unit of weight that is newton m g newton okay ma so let me ask you one question will the weight be changed in from one planet to another of course it will change because gravitational pull are changing with planets okay so some uh, persons have gone in moon right the the gravitational pull is less compared to that of earth it's almost 1 by 6th of that of the earth consider a person who is uh, bahut mota <coughs> consider a fat man having weight 120 kg in earth He is so fat. One twenty kilogram is his weight. So what will be his weight in moon? It will be one twenty divided by six. What is that? Twenty. He is so lean, right? So we all are lucky if we are going to moon, and we can say, Oh no, I am just ten kg. Oh no, I am just two kg. Like that, you can say. Okay. So in moon, the gravitational force of attraction and the gravity. force of gravity is very less just i am saying so in the earth is there any change you will say no but the answer is yes in the poles because of the shape of the earth the gravitational pull is more over poles so a man who is coming from poles is having less weight when he is reaching the equator okay so this is an important thing which you should know because it is even though it is not in your textbook i am giving you some extras so that it will be interesting for you and you will learn more you want to learn more you are such a enthusiastic student right that's why i'm saying okay ma now and i think you have learned or you have understood about the mass and the weight now we are moving to see the pressure what is pressure in the 8th standard itself we are learning pressure oh my god i am having that much pressure in my head to learn all this right 
that pressure i am not asking that is the mental pressure which you are having if you are not learning regularly okay no you will not do that the mental pressure is not for you but why what i am saying is it's the normal pressure what is this pressure what is pressure ma pressure is the force divided by area to up to which area the force is exerting that is what ma pressure normally or actually what is pressure actually pressure is perpendicular force by area the perpendicular force which is acting is what ma it is the pressure okay the perpendicular force is also said as thrust what we are saying about the perpendicular force perpendicular force is what ma thrust thrust by area gives you what ma pressure if a person with uh, with the slippers is stamping on your legs you will not feel the pain more but if a girl is stamping not because that is girl but because she is having heels what heels high heels she is having because of that you will be having more pain right okay so this is pressure because the area the, the area is very small but the force applied is much more that's why that's why we will be having much more pain in your home if you are having knife if you are using a knife or in the kitchen you can go and see knife is there your mother is using okay in that knife two parts are there right a blunt part and a sharp edge with what she is cutting the vegetables with the blunt part huh? no with a sharp edge she is cutting why because the the area is very less so the force applied will be uh, um, if the force is applied to a little extent also it will be able to be cut easily if you are trying to cut with the blunt part if you are applying that much force also the area the uh, vegetable will not be cut easily because the area is more over there area means that the width is more over there in the blunt part than in the uh, sharp edge okay ma and then if you are seeing your school bags straps are wider yes or no straps are wider straps in the early times while i was a student by the time we were the, there were not that much uh, thinking power i think so our straps will not be that much uh, widen it will be small straps so what every day we will be having that shoulder pain but now you are lucky chance and not having that much pain because of the wider straps in the school bags why the wider straps is uh, put because if the area is more the straps are wider means the area is more so what happens so uh, so the pressure will be equally distributed we will not be feeling pain on your shoulders okay and one more example i can say if you are seeing the tires you can see the difference so have you seen the cycle tire is it wider no it's small thin one but have you seen the tire of the truck or lorry or to say bus and all it's a wider one why the same thing the the area is more we were discussing about the pressure right now to the fluid having pressure yes fluids also have pressure how can we understand that fluid is having pressure you will be having water bottles with you right make a hole in the water bottle and close the hole and fill full water then close with the cap now remove the um, the part which we are hiding okay so what happens we can see the water is oozing up is it moving in a dripping manner no it will be jetting in the jet manner the water will be moving why because the pressure because of the pressure of the water it is pushing the water to be out did you get ma for all the walls of the bottle the pressure will be exerted by the water and if the some hole is there through that hole the water will be jetting out did you get ma so fluid exerts pressure then we should know one thing that is up thrust or buoyant force what is this buoyant force actually water is having the tendency to make the things to move up that is up thrust as i told you gravity is the pulling force so this buoyancy is the pushing force okay this uh, is it interesting now uh, 
Okay, so the upthrust is there for the water. If the buoyant force is more, what happens? We will be floating. Because how can we understand this buoyancy is there? Buoyant force is actually an upward force given by any fluid on the object which is in it. Okay, this is the buoyant force. Okay, so the buoyancy that I am saying, if the mass, I am having a particular mass and if the buoyant force is much more than my mass, what happens? I will be floating and if my mass is more than the buoyant force, I will sink. Okay, if in a, uh, if you have taken a beaker or if you have taken a mug, whatever beaker will be, right? So if you are taking a mug, filled with water and if you are dropping a pin, a safety pin, what happens? It will sink. Yes or no? It will sink. But, you know, the ships are made of metal. A small piece of metal is sinking in water. But the whole ship is moving freely in sea. How is it? How can it be possible? There you should know the Archimedes principle. What does Archimedes say in his principle? Archimedes says that upward buoyant force is equal to the weight of the fluid dispersed by the immersed portion. Upward buoyant force is equal to the weight of the liquid which is displaced by the immersed portion. If you get ma? If, if you have not understand, I will show you. Dears, I am having a glass jar with some water. I am putting a hairpin. It's sinking in it. Okay. If I am putting a plate, this is a steel plate, you have seen, it will be sinking. Yes. Okay. The same plate, if I am putting in this manner, let's see. Is it floating or sinking? It's floating. This is Archimedes principle. What he has said? The upward buoyant force is equal to the weight of the fluid dispersed by the immersed portion. Here, surface area is more for it. If I am putting in this manner, this much water has been displaced. Yes or no? Okay. But if I am putting in this manner, up to this extent, the water is displaced, isn't it ma? That water will be acting upward. So what happens? It will float. This is the principle, same principle for the ships, for the boats, for whatever the objects which is floating on the water. This is the principle going on. I think it's clear for you. Okay. Now, I am having my child's building blocks. If I am putting it, it will be floating. If I am pushing it down also, it will be coming up. Yes or no? Okay. Why? Because of the buoyant force. And secondly, I can say the density of the plastic is less compared to the density of the water, which makes it come up. Okay, if my density is more than that of the water, I will be sinking. Or if my density is less than that of the water, I will be floating. Yes or no? Okay, so what is density? Density is equal to mass by volume. I think to this extent, the lesson is, and I have finished the lesson. And I think you are very happy by seeing these experiments. I am not leaving you. This is the question time. First question is, easy one to come. Numerical value of G is dash. While you are writing the value, you have to write the unit also. Numerical value of capital G is dash. Okay. Second one, gravitational force is always dash force. In the option, is it a repulsive force or is it an attractive force? Gravitational force is a dash force is the question. The third one, acceleration due to gravity is maximum at dash. Is it at poles or is it at equator? Okay. 
I think all the answers are very easy for you. Okay, we can meet in the next class. Bye.